Come with me to give this box turtle a makeover. He has an overgrown beak and nails, which need to be trimmed short to keep him comfortable. This can happen if they are not given proper substrate to dig in and grind their nails down, or not fed proper food that wears their beak down. Fortunately, the owner realized something was wrong and brought him to me to get treated. Now, if you've ever tried to open the mouth of an awake box turtle, you know it's next to impossible if they don't want you to. So, we had to give him a little sedation. I used a combination of hydromorphone and alfaxalone. It got him just sleepy enough so that he would cooperate. I started trimming the sides of the beak down with a dremel. I much prefer these over clippers, as clippers are traumatic and can cause fractures. This doesn't hurt the turtle, as the extra beak growth is similar to overgrown fingernails. Once the sides were filed down enough, I was able to open the mouth with a tongue depressor and file it down further. Once the beak was completely filed down and reshaped, I moved on to the mani-pedi. I started with the clippers, and once I got the bulk of them off, switched to the dremel. At first the nails were so long, they were curling and overlapping each other, and he couldn't even close his feet into his shell. Once they were trimmed, he was finally able to secure himself in his shell. Box turtles are unique among turtles in that their shells are hinged at the bottom, and they're able to close themselves completely inside. Box turtles are omnivores, which means they eat both animal protein and plant material. Usually this looks like 60% bugs such as earthworms, isopods, and roaches, and 20% veggies such as squash and mushrooms, 10% leafy greens such as collard greens and dandelion greens, and 10% fruits such as berries. I also dust the greens and bugs with a calcium supplement. Their basking spot should be 85 to 90 degrees, and the cool side of their enclosure could be 70 to 75. In addition, they must have a UVB light, because without it, they can develop metabolic bone disease. And here he is after his spa day, looking much better.